You may know a malefactor by his use of public action to quell public discussion. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. It is now impossible for persons with signs, with unwelcome slogans on their lips, or even uh, known but peaceable lifeist histories, to lawfully walk down certain streets, at least at certain times, or at least uh, particular sides, uh, and at least a particular sides of particular streets. The franchise of unregulated peaceable persuasion, long assailed by monarchs and despots, of our escape-worthy posterity has only a tenuous hold on this continent. Its attrition in even the smallest public space is not to be countenanced lightly. As the Crimson King's vocalizer Adrian uh, Bellew once bellowed, quote, talk, talk, it's only talk. Verbal, a banter, bicker, brouhaha, a balderdash, a bollyhoo, it's only talk. Unquote. What is so feared in this talk that it must be restricted even on the publicly funded walkway? What is so uh, sacred about the medical processes here undertaken? that their discussion is only tolerated at a range of over six meters from the entrance and one party to the discussion given limited but discretionary given limited uh, but discretionary police powers over the other you may know a malefactor by his use of public action to quell public discussion we agree, do we not, that it would be a lamentable offense if the, uh, the imperial seat in D.C. were to impose regimes upon the masses. Mm. The masses of, um, the regimes upon the masses. Hmm. Regimes, regimes upon the masses of continental humanity, whereby they were compelled to subsidize an Operation Rescue or one of Mr. Terry's presidential uh, campaigns. Taxpayer monies should not aim to assist or hinder the cause of fetal rights or choicest activism. Perhaps, uh, perhaps they not, should not even be collected at all. But, uh, but it was this same system. The self-funded which well within living recollection hunted and captured the providers of this controversial procedure. The practitioners were driven into the dark recesses, forced to live the existence of constant fear and official injunction. Heroes or villains, cruel or philanthropic, they were not lacking in physical courage. <clears throat> And their, uh, their performance of the terminations was not made less right by its forbiddance. So to the practitioners of re republic, uh, so to the practitioners of repulsive signage or ill-colored remark, uh, never more than uh, a weak minority in any lifeist demonstration. I have ever witnessed um, are not um, are not made wrongdoers simply by parliamentary decree or by standing close enough to be heard without uh, to be heard without uh, to be heard without shout of the planners who have uh, invoked the formerly anti-abortion mechanisms of state 
against their foes? These queries. First, do I get the choice, supported by law, of denying funding to this institution and its works, which now extend to our sidewalk and sometimes to our street? Am I free to safely choose whether I uh, choose, whether I underwrite the imposition of speech restrictions projecting into the very right of way that I am compelled to bankroll? Can I be pro-choice on the question, should taxpayers be allowed to choose a personal inspection of these facilities which the government has made them finance. How much warmer than this would be the opinions of those many persua persuadable uh, uh, contemplators who have scrutinized your case without malice, who accept the right of reprodu reproductive choice, if they were not driven from you by your lamentable amassment of taxpayer subsidies, now expanded into a theft of sacred First Amendment powers. If lines are to be drawn, then let us draw them against action and not debate, against breach, not ballyhoo. But oh, what an unfortunate breach it is you have committed, jutting like an invisible malignancy out into the uh, the very uh, sidewalk on which I would like to stand. Know this, you have tampered, however unnoticeably for now, with the sentiments of the great neutral forces of moderation and those of the philosophical libertarianist, between them comprising perhaps 40% of all imperial citizens. You test them further only at the peril of your cause. You test them further only at the peril of your cause. If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com.